It's round nine of the Four Oak Cup Series, and two days after the Truck Series, the Cup Field rolls onto the track for qualifying back at Coda. It's the Texas Ranger 102.6 for 30 laps and one of the longest road courses on the schedule. I'm your producer and commentator, River Page, filling in for David Kreutz, who is unavailable today, and as we ride on board with James Thurston, coming off of a dominating performance, leading every lap, winning in qualifying and practice last uh or just uh, just two days ago on Monday in the truck series looking to do the same here he was the fastest car in practice with I believe a 115 Michael Cormendis the only driver coming close to him in that sense as James Thurston rolls around through the hairpin that is turn 11 and down to the longest straight away on the track he had a heartbreaking loss on Wednesday uh, last week at Chicagoland when Zach Todriff uh, got loose and absolutely destroyed him after being one of the dominant cars of the day. And he's trying to uh, get some revenge on this field now. He wrecked out of that race and he's looking to come back and storm away from the field 30 laps so they will need to pit just as they did in the truck series. And it'll be very interesting to see if anyone can compete with the four of James Thurston. Remember when we interviewed Andrew Cootie last, uh, just uh, on Monday again, the second place performance, he expects uh, this race for the top three to be exactly the same with him uh, in second behind James Thurston and in front of Maximus Molina in the 45. And so Cootie was looking forward to me pulling him in for his second place interview, but I'm hoping that he can have some competition for this James Thurston fellow who has been remarkably quick throughout the weekend here at this track as he comes around turn 20 and he gets ready to go on to his lap crossing the start finish line there you see that little line it's not the F1 finish line which you see them cross now it's way back just exiting the corner I believe though I could be mistaken uh, and we'll see what happens here as Thurston comes down turn one and the sweeping right-hander to turn two. He's going to get all over the throttle and try and get as far right as he can to set up that perfect line through the S's. Down a gear, dragging a brake so he can get the line through there. Goes a little wide. He'll shoot it out to the top and then turn it hard right, right there. Catch that curb to get the car to turn. Comes back to the left. Going for a bit of a power slide there as he comes back to the right, trying to avoid getting a zero X, which means going off the track and... Uh, it's kind of around every driver knows here that that's always an issue when you come to this track uh, the X's Are always a problem because if you get a little too far out on that red paint that could mean it's done especially uh, On the corner entries uh, you saw him going through that uphill right-hander. I believe that's turn eight uh, If you go too far to the right there you can make up a lot of time But it will give you a zero X if not a slowdown penalty which could cause you to lose two or three seconds on your lap and of course, during qualifying, it'll completely invalidate your lap. And as Thurston comes down to turn 12 to the slowest section on the track. We'll see what he can do here through the right-hander turn 13 and to 14. And as he gets up to the double left-hand apex here, 15 and 16. Swinging around left catching the rear end on a spin there almost lost it all over the gas here He gets to turn 17 right there Even though it might look like four apexes counts it two through 17 and this is turn 18 And now as he gets to the left-hander at turn 19 the final short stoot to the finish line He gets wide into that green paint but he keeps it on the track and this should be a pretty solid lap for James Thurston the first car to cross the line is Andrew Cootie Jacob Wilkerson Alex Jones on the board James Thurston will go to the top of the charts if that lap counts and uh, I was correct about the early uh, finish line and James Thurston goes to the provisional pole a 214.5 Andrew Cootie a 215 flat Jacob Wilkerson 216 5 Ethan Workman last week's winner 218 Zero. Thomas J. Johnson up into fourth with a 216.6. And we'll see where the rest of the field is at right now. Michael Cormenis was the second fastest car in practice. We'll see if we have if he has anything for James Thurston as he comes out of turn 18. And to 19 and 20. 
Corman is trying to get that big, big corner right here. You might want to set it up for your second lap going wide, but if you want to get to that line quicker, he's going to turn it a little earlier all over the gas across the line. Cormenis is a 2.16.7. And he jumps up into, I believe, the fifth spot right there with that lap. If it counts, I don't think it did. Looks like he had an off track on that lap, so Cormenis' first lap does not count as he comes back down through one. Max Molina first lap doesn't count. Anthony Trippi has a time deleted. Michael Cor uh, Michael Deitch has a time deleted. Joey Stone has not completed a lap yet. Here's Stone on his first lap. Race winner at Auto Club this season. He won in the trucks shortly thereafter at uh, Chicagoland. And as he comes through the sweeping right hand turn, oh, he drives way wide. And that is surely going to be an uh, off track, I believe. Doesn't look like a, uh, he got an incident there. It might update when he crosses the line, but on timing and scoring, it might be good. As Joey Stone comes around, eight drivers have a set of lap. James Thurston, fastest of them all with a 5.53, 5, 2.14, 5.53. Here comes Joey Stone across the line. That lap will not count. As he went wide in 17, that lap does not count. He has a time deleted. Molina on another lap. We'll see where Max is on track right now. This is Michael Cormenis. Going into turn 12, here's Max Molina. A little bit farther ahead of him, out of the uh, tightest section on the track, that uh, 13 through, or 12 through 16. Here to 17 and 18. Here comes Molina, currently sitting without a position. It'll put him outside of the top 10, racing for a second championship here in the Cup Series. He needs a good finish after missing last week. As he comes down through the final quarter of the Burt Rubber Racing Warehouse Series, XM45 gets a solid exit out of the corner. He needs that lap. He does a 15-9. Does it count? It does. That is a great lap for Molina. P3 for the 45. And I don't know if anyone will be able to compete with him. Here comes Cormenis. This is Brandon Riss Miller just ahead of Michael, and it doesn't look like Michael's lap is complete and that is very unfortunate for the 25 a two-week suspension earlier in the year for intentional wrecking and so that's not going to be a good lap at all not going to be helpful at all for his chances at the playoffs anthony trippy comes out of the final corner his first lap was deleted this time it's a 223 it does count he knocks down xander prestige and michael deitch joey stone still out on the racetrack on his second lap he would have uh, had his last lap invalidated there and so now he needs something here to come back from it as he comes out of turn 16 stone in that green and black kick number eight probably live right now streaming this from his pov as stone comes down turn 18 trying to make up some time on his competitors in this point standings another full-time driver trying to take a hit at the reigning champ max molina james thurston has been the one to beat all year but lap traffic has been uh, his kryptonite and he's had a lot of wins taken away because of that thurston looking to finally capture a flawless victory in this year as the eight machine comes across the line it's a 218.6 and he goes to eighth knocks henry Kalhoff, justin mons ross corlett trippy prestige and deitch down up position. Brandon Rist Miller on the track. He's in pit road. And so that will wind out practice. And just as they finished in the truck series, Thurston Cootie Molina, one, two, three. Jacob Wilkerson takes fourth. And we'll talk to James Thurston right after we get the qualifying results up. As there you see, the session has ended. And James Thurston is your pole sitter yet again uh don't mind that logo it's a little it's a little too big uh ng you see there as james thurston takes the pole on the left side of your screen p1 for thurston on the inside andrew cootie lines up alongside him on the outside in p2 then it's max molina alongside pbr teammate jacob wilkerson third and fourth thomas j johnson in fifth and ethan workman in sixth alex jones in seventh and joey stone in eighth and Ray Kalhoff in the 63 lines up ninth, and Justin Mons rounds out the top 10 in 10th. 
Ross Corlett and Anthony Trippi take the 6th row, 11th and 12th. Then it's Xander Prestage and Michael Deitch, 13th and 14th. 15th and 16th, Michael Cormenis and Brandon Riss Miller, who did not set a time. Neither did Joe, uh, Joaquin Stewart, Joseph Lewis, Dustin Pickle, Chance Parker, and that is it. So we'll talk to James Thurston before this race gets underway. Pole sitter, two days, uh, two races in a row. Let's see what he has to say. James Thurston, uh, second pole in two races here at Coda. How do you feel? Uh, yeah, that's the uh, pole position sweep across the two races. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes here. Uh, that was a pretty quick lap. I kind of thought I'd run a little bit faster, to be honest, but I think they've got the uh, track temp set pretty hot, so it's going to be really, really slippy and slidey, and I'm sure you're going to see a lot of guys spinning out here on the first lap, and hopefully I won't be one of them. All right, well, you out-qualified the rest of the field by about a second, but at the end of that last race, uh, Andrew Cootie and Maximilian, they both picked up the pace pretty well, so uh, do you expect any competition early? Um, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, they definitely did catch the... They, they started running the same pace as me towards the end of the truck race, so uh, if we get some late race cautions, I think everyone's going to be on even playing field, and uh, it'll be interesting, but uh, we'll see what happens. All right, well, you have anything else to say? Just uh, thanks to Power Smash Infinity Speed Motorsports, and uh, let's see if we can sweep the whole thing. All right, well, thank you for your time, and good luck. Thank you. All right, there's James Thurston. He is uh, expecting some cautions, possibly, and if they do arise, that could impact his chances here. Late in the race, it's the Texas Ranger 102.6. Two-thirds, uh, or... Uh, the truck series two-thirds the length of this race 30 laps today and the field rolls off from the back stretch going into turn 12 13 14 15 16 the sweeping right hander 17 and 18 and the back-to-back -back 90 degree left hand turns of 19 and 20 and the race will get underway as Thurston leads the field around Andrew Cootie in tow Max Molina lines up behind Thurston, and then Jacob Wilkerson. Molina, again, uh, missed the week last week at Chicago, and he's looking for a good result here. A win to put him into the playoffs would be ideal. The field goes into the final four corners. The pace car will make the hard left turn into pit road and unleash the 670 uh, horsepower beast to the streets of Austin, Texas. Do you see the back there, the, the highest point on the track at turn one, that steep incline, I believe it's something like 150 feet up to turn one, the widest point of the track, the, the best uh, opportunity to pass, especially right here on lap one, the whole field is bunched up. And as the pace car makes the hard left turn onto pit road, James Thurston comes through turn 20 to the start-finish line. And we are green from Coda as Thurston gets to the restart zone. And now they go green. There's the five green lights. Andrew Cootie gets a fantastic start. He's going to beat Thurston in the line. Shockingly, I don't know if that's allowed, but Thurston has the bottom lane. Cootie does not make the corner. Thurston's going to try and drive down the bottom. We see a couple cars smoking. That's Joey Stone, I think. It might actually be Anthony Trippy in the other green car. And it is Trippy in the optic. Hi. I don't... Trippy in the Optic Gaming car. Completely lost it in turn one. But Andrew Cootie got the lead from Thurston. He went super wide in turn one. I'm not actually sure how we got a better start than Thurston, but Thurston's going to try and hunt him back down. Down into turn 11. Oh, dive bomb from Thurston. He keeps it underneath him as they go down the back straight away. The 45 of Molina looks on. All the way up to fourth is Thomas Johnson. A horrible, horrible first lap for Jacob Wilkerson. It looks like he already he uh, spun with Trippy. He's about 13 seconds off the race leader as James Thurston gets the lead back down the back stretch. That did not take long at all. 
See if we can get a look back at that turn one. This is Thurston's on board, and as you see, they come down the straightaway right here. Cootie just gets a better start than Thurston. And then there's Trippy right in the middle of the field. Cuts across the nose, a super lackluster spin off the front end of Xander Prestige's machine. And then Jacob Wilkerson, I'm not sure what happened to him. He was up in third after that initial start. And it looks like he's going through the S's, hits one of the curbs, hits another curb. Oh, and there he goes. Yeah, those curbs get the car super unsettled and they don't like to bounce. And that puts Wilkerson 13th. As he came across the line this time just behind Chance Parker. But James Thurston continues to lead. As they finish up lap number one, Cootie half a second off of a Max Molina, two seconds back already. These, these front two already gapping the field. Thomas Johnson, three seconds off. Was he right on board with Molina? Just looking on and the leaders trying to figure out what they're doing that he isn't. He was actually a little bit quicker in the S's there, made up two or three tenths. And he gains a little bit more there, but starts to slide. Cootie loses time on the race leader as well. As Cootie goes really wide down the hill. They both miss the corner and Molina does too in the mirror of Cootie's car. You can see Molina going really wide. All three of the leaders missing the corner there, but Thurston extends his lead to a second already. And it looks like Michael Cormenis did not make the start. Michael Cormenis not on the racetrack. As you see one car going by just now, that's Joseph Lewis. Missing the start in the GameStop machine. Already half a lap, more than half a lap behind the field as James Thurston makes his way through turn 13 and turn 14. James Thurston comes through turn number 20 to complete lap number two, a second and four tenths over the leader. Uh, Sean wrote, yeah, no way. I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Mods, mods, can we ban Sean Rowe? Uh, James Thurston goes through turn one. He picked up four tenths on... Andrew Cootie alone right there drops to three as Cootie gets a little bit of a better exit. Max Molina starting to run down the nine. There's a second in between the two. And I, again, when, when I talked to uh, Cootie after the truck series race on Monday, he predicted uh, exactly this, the one, two, three, the ideal uh, top three for Cootie and Molina. Molina said the ideal top three would be Thurston Cootie and then himself and Cootie just, he thought that it would be the same way. These two are a lot closer in this next gen. Well, these three, I guess, they're all a lot closer in this next gen car than they were in the trucks. Thurston was just figuring something out that they weren't with saving those rear tires, but with this car, they don't have to worry about saving basically at all. As you see, Cootie actually make up time on Thurston through the S is about half a second. As he rides down the back stretch trying to stay within a second of Thurston 0.96 off of him right now. Down into the hardest braking zone on the track, the fastest point of the track. 170 miles an hour almost as they get there into turn 12. More than 170. Joey Stone watching on the uh, timing and soaring up to 175 down into turn 12. Cootie not so much as he goes a little wide. Look at the difference in lines here. And it looks like Cooties is working out better. He's running down James Thurston. Thurston swings it out wide for 16 and 17, or 17 and 18 rather. And it's gonna be a little quicker. He's gonna 
pull a little gap on Cootie. Max Molina trying to get up to him, but Molina starting to lose some time on these two. As the leaders continue to get stretched out, Thomas Johnson, 3.7 seconds off of Max Molina back and forth. In the 40 Motorsports 48 machine, Alex Jones in fifth. Joey Stone is chasing him down. Justin Mons right on the tail of this field. Ethan Workman right behind Mons. Henry Kalhoff about three seconds back. Then Jacob Wilkerson is there. Xander Prestage a little farther back, six or seven seconds as the Empire One machine makes it through. Oh, he does not make it through cleanly. He's sideways. Here comes Brandon Riss Miller. He's going to back up. Oh, watch out. See, there's the one machine. Anthony Trippi spins out on lap one in just a bad position there. He couldn't clutch dump it for some reason. So he just sat and he's going to lose a bunch of spots. Drops to 16th now as he races Anthony Trippi down into turn one. Trippi giving him plenty of room. These two were the uh, were the first spin Trippi cut down across the nose of the one. Had to be a little more careful there. As Prestage tries to run down Trippy back up front, Andrew Cooty again super quick through the S's. And he's made up some time as you see Michael Cormenis out on the racetrack there. In 19th, one lap down, uh, I believe, as he gets out right behind Max Molina. He's going to hope for a caution to get his lap back, but here comes Cooty. Half a second back on Thurston, the, uh, the road course ringer here, you could say. One of the fastest guys in a stock car on a road course. And Cootie is running him down here at Coda. There, there was such an advantage to Thurston in the truck series, but this time not so much. Cootie six tenths off. Going through 17 and 18. On board with Cootie coming down to turn 20, driving in a lot deeper than Thurston. Oh, too deep. Has to correct it. Here comes Molina. Out of the final corner. Molina went a little wide as well. 1.3 back. And just like that, all of Cootie's gains are gone. James Thurston locking up the brakes into turn one. Cootie follows him through on board with Thurston. Down into the S's and we uh, we heard James Thurston talk about the weather he said the track was really hot 79 degrees is the air temperature so Thurston might just be a little silly because uh, that's pretty regular uh, pretty regular conditions especially for this league uh, he was struggling with grip and it looks like Cootie's got to figure it out another half second through the uh, S's for Cootie not sure what he's doing but he's making up a bunch of time on Thurston as they got whoa Cooney goes super wide that might be a slowdown penalty but he should have his admin friends be able to clear it for him as here comes Michael Cormenis to the inside of third place Max Molina these two are racing like it's for position but Cormenis is a lap down off of them he's gonna get in front of Molina obviously has the pace to beat that 45 Molina's gonna go to the inside Trying to get by him does not want to be in his dirty air as he tries to run down the two leaders who are closer than they've been since lap one, turn one, when Thurston got back to Cootie and took the lead away. Cootie showing that he wants to challenge. As they come back through 16. Thurston trying to get the drive off in the Power Smash Infinity Speed Motorsports sponsored by Heart Attack Energy Machine, but Andrew Cootie right there. Hanging tough on the back of Thurston, five tenths off of him as they come through 17 and 18. Thurston back into turn 19, keeping it on the track. Cootie using as much possible space as he can. This time he takes it a lot smoother through that final corner. And look at how close he gets to James Thurston. In fact, he's got the run on him. Might see a pass down into turn one here. Thurston 
trying to win yet another uh, road course race. He's going to drive it in a little wide. Cootie keeps it low. He's going to get the run, trying to set up that line through the S's. This is where he's been much, much faster than Thurston. All race long as we ride on board with Cootie through the S's and just see what he's doing differently. I mean, they're taking the same line. He's just straight up faster. Drives it in super deep, trying to get to the force bumper. Rides it out wide. Controlling the throttle, trying to get the car to turn as he goes through. Turn six, seven. Here's turn eight and turn nine down to 10 and 11 to the straightaway. Cootie trying to set it up, running super wide again. I mean, he's definitely getting a slowdown or an off track every time he goes out there. But obviously off tracks don't matter in the race as Cootie completely forgets where the turn is. And there goes all of his progress in one corner. Thurston's gonna pull away. Again, five and a half laps complete. At Coda is look at Cormenis is pulling away from from the PBR machine of Max Molina. He is making up time. Anthony Trippy around Dustin Pickle. This is the only other real battle on track right now where passes are being made. We do have a group of cars up ahead of these guys. Uh, in fifth, Joey Stone, Justin Mons, Ethan Workman is there as well. Wilkerson and Alex Jones a little farther back. Joey Stone riding in fifth, super comfortable right now. Justin Mons right behind him. These guys are already 20 seconds behind race leader James Thurston. As here comes Cootie back to a uh, about a four tenths gap. Molina 36 back. Thomas Johnson 10 to back on the leaders. Last time by he did a 217.1. James Thurston did a 24.9. Two seconds faster than almost the rest of the field. Aside from Cootie and Molina. Here comes Cootie this time. He's got the run on him. Cootie looks to the inside. On James Thurston going down into turn number one. Thurston's trying to stick it around the outside. He can't do it. Looking for the double cross. Gets to his corner panel, but Cootie's faster through the S's. Thurston has to lay his bumper to the nine or else the nine's gonna get away and look at how much quicker Cootie is. Thurston was just a roadblock for the nine. I mean, I have no idea what he's doing differently, but that thing so much faster again. The Chevy seemed to prevail over the Ford because they are running nearly identical lines. Cootie's just so much quicker as he runs super wide. Here comes Thurston. That's gonna be a chance to get him back as he rides up to the inside. Cootie extends out three or four car widths out of turn 10 and turn a turn 11. Here they go. Cootie runs wide again. Thurston looking for the drive off. Cootie gets it with that wider line, but definitely not beneficial to do that. If he did it on purpose, I don't think he did. But here comes here comes Thurston again. You see Brandon Riss Miller P14. He is a minute behind the race leader. Thurston on the brakes earlier. Cootie might not make the corner. Oh, he's sliding on the brakes and indeed he misses it. Thurston to the inside. Cootie runs wide. Getting the benefit of the doubt of the no X limit. He is taking advantage of every corner exit for good or for worse. As Thurston tries to get to his bumper here coming out of turn 16. He's gonna get to his bumper, almost gets into him. But Cootie's gonna get away here. 17 and 18. Thurston enters a little low. Runs it out a little wide. As you see, Michael Cormenis is the fastest car on track right now. His last lap was faster than Thurston and Cootie's by almost almost a second. As Cormenis is the, gonna be probably the car to beat if they can get a caution. But it's not gonna happen as Cootie goes wide. Cormenis slipping and sliding. Can the four of Thurston get? Andrew Cootie back three tenths is closing down to two with the help of the draft. As they come down into turn one, Cootie with a mirror full of James Thurston down out of turn one. But Thurston slips. And with that goes the lead for good. As Cootie again just so much quicker in the S's. This car is doing something that Thurston's isn't. As he stretches it three tenths already right there. 
I have no idea why that is the case, but Thurston just cannot get that car to turn, and it's up to a second. As they come down and out of the S's, Cootie pulls the lead up. Thurston pulls him back to two tenths uh, or to eight tenths. They're made up two tenths coming out of the S's, but overall, it's not enough as Cormenis is now looking like he wants to make a move on James Thurston. Oh, Cootie again misses the corner, and that puts Thurston right back in contention. Four tenths off of him and closing down the backstretch. Sean Rowe, where's the fun flag? I, I really think maybe halfway through this race we should get a fun flag. Uh, the last race was extremely boring. No, no cautions, just let James Thurston get away. Is Cootie another mistake? Another slip up, it's one tenth between the two. Thurston to the bottom and Thurston's gonna take the lead right back. Thurston on the outside, Cootie fights back to the bottom. Cootie's gonna run out wide, Thurston outside. Absolutely zero grip out there for Thurston. And he's gonna lose it again. Here comes Cormenis, the lap car, right behind him, maybe helping out. Thurston to get around Cootie. If we can get to him on the straightaway, Thurston really used the paint on the inside there to his advantage to get that car to turn. As Cootie runs it out wide, Thurston with a cleaner line through there, enters just a little bit higher. Oh, here comes Cormenis. Looked like he wanted to make a pass on the four. That's definitely not what you want to do. While the leaders are racing, just ride. You're not going to do anything with your lap if you get it back. Except for give Andrew Cootie dirty air. Possibly wreck the leaders as Thurston came down on the 25's front bumper there. Here comes Thurston, one tenth, two tenth. As they come out of turn one, Thurston to the inside, Cootie to the outside. But that line prevails and Cootie's speed in the S's is always going to get him a safety net to make a mistake and it has done that the last three or four laps. Thurston though keeps up a little bit that time, only let him get away by about two tenths. Make it three tenths here as they come out of turn six to seven and eight, the right hander nine. The left hander here, turn nine comes up. Really quick, the switch back right to left. Thurston gets the drive off down the hill, but he loses more time. It's back to eight tenths. See if Cootie makes another mistake here. A little break lock up for the nine. Oh, he does go wide. He misses the corner again. And Thurston reels him in by four tenths of a second. Cormenis watching on. Thurston is just begging that 25 to get to his bumper and help him. Eight laps complete, and these leaders are still bumper to bumper. You see the first actual uh, car about to be put a lap down is the 040, or the, uh, the 28 of Joseph Lewis. As he sees those leaders race, Cootie runs wide again. And Thurston's going to try and take advantage of it. The switch back to the right side. Thurston closing the gap in 2.7 or uh, 0.27 right there. Was as close as he could get. Cootie runs it a little too inside. Oh, he gets loose. Here comes Thurston. Thurston looking to the inside. Trying to make something happen right there, but he gets up a little wide out of the groove. And he loses all that grip. Cootie misses another corner. Here comes Thurston. This time he can get him back. Cootie goes to protect the bottom. Thurston. Blade lunge to the inside for the race lead off of turn 20. Cormenis is there. Who will he help? He's going to stick with Cootie. It looks like he doesn't have enough momentum to push them. He gets him off the gas right there. Not wanting to interfere with this lead battle. Down into turn one side by side. Just like they did on lap one. Cootie runs wide with the huge double cross. He's going to try and get him back right here so we can pull away in the S's. And that's what he's going to do. No, he can't. Thurston holds him off. Back through the S's again. Cootie all over the rear end of James Thurston's machine. Looking bottom, maybe thinks better of it as we see one lap car coming up. How will they get around him? Cootie completely misses the corner. Here comes, here comes Michael. Cormenis trying to get around him. Lap car Joseph Lewis through the grass. And Thurston pulls away nine tenths. Now as Cormenis went for the move to the inside of Cootie. 
when Cootie missed the corner, it didn't quite work out. Oh, and Thurston misses the corner. It's like there's an obligatory miss the uh, the hairpin there if you're the leader. But he didn't go in as deep as Cootie did that last two laps, and the gap is still seven tenths. As Cormenis chases Cootie. Down into turn 12. Cootie completely blows the corner. So does Thurston. And Cormenis is going to get around the 25 now. Cootie comes back. And Cootie doesn't let him have it. But Cormenis is continuing to fight with Andrew. And that's letting Thurston pull away out to a second. He stretched the lead. Here comes Cormenis to the inside. Sliding the rear tires and racing the nine. And now the gap is extended. Thurston running away from Andrew Cootie. 1.1 seconds as Cormenis is all over his bumper, racing him like it's four position again. He's all over the rear end. Cootie misses the corner there. Cormenis gets the run to see if he makes a move. Turn one, he breaks a little bit earlier than Cootie. He runs out a little bit wider. It's super interesting at this a track of this size to see the difference in each corner for each driver, how they take it, how they approach it. There's so many different ways you can go about driving this track, and you're seeing it right here with Cormenis and Cootie, and earlier with Cootie and Thurston. As you see, Cormenis hits the curb. Oh, he's going to completely miss the corner there, and that'll be a slowdown for him for sure. As now Thurston continues to hold that gap steady. Cootie not making up as much time as he had been there in the S's. It's still a second gap. For Thurston, it is Thurston. Extends the gap again to 1.2 seconds. We'll take a break and come back to you here at Coda. Thurston, Cootie, Molina, Johnson, and Wilkerson. This message is brought to you by the rebrand of Throttle Graphics and Designs. This publication may not be reposted without the authorized written consent of Throttle Graphics and Designs. NASCAR Camping World Ford F-150 NASCAR Xfinity Ford Mustang NASCAR Cup Series Next Gen Ford Mustang Arca Menards This has been the publication of the redesign and rebranding of Throttle Graphics and Designs. This message may not be reposted, republicated, or rebroadcasted without the authorized written consent of Throttle Graphics and Designs. Thank you, and thanks for your time. Racing isn't easy, but experiencing it is. iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com.
back live at Coda lap 12 of 30 James Thurston and Andrew Cootie have held a constant about 1.1 second gap while we were away if you want all the latest updates for Fireball Talks NASCAR's entire crew the schedules the tracks the streams and all the uh, behind the scenes action here at FTN join the the discord right there with the uh, the little QR code and you'll be notified every time we go live everything that happens see how we run the show here at Fireball Talks NASCAR but James Thurston and Andrew Cootie have basically kept the same gap this entire time there Cootie just lost a little bit of time through 16 17 and 18 and uh, the final two corners as Michael Cormenis is still right there with him but it was 1.1 seconds throughout that entire break and before now it's 1.4 as Cootie made a mistake lost some time the glowing red hot brakes on Thurston's car locking up a little bit as the left rear is barely touching the ground but he continues to lead comfortably no challenge so far from Cootie since he got around him and Cootie has definitely lost that edge that he had but as they get back into the S's he gains it right back four tenths he gets on it maybe five maybe six right there Thurston just cannot find the speed through the S's almost halfway through this event and he still doesn't have it figured out which he's going to need to if we get to a late race battle Cootie's going to be able to use that to his advantage so we'll take you through the field here, James Thurston. Started on the pole, lost the lead, gained it back, lost it again. But the lowest he's been is second, and that is to the nine of Andrew Cootie, who rides right behind him right there. That nine machine started in second, but took the lead right from the get-go from Thurston. He's challenged him all along. Max Molina in third, he's been there all a race. And no competition for Molina. 10 seconds back from the leaders. 13 seconds to the nearest car to him, which is Thomas J. Johnson. Just came out of turn 11. He's been uh, he's been basically the same race as Molina, except for he lost one spot on the initial start. Got it right back when he got around the 43 of Jacob Wilkerson. Wilkerson in fifth. Nine seconds behind Johnson. Wilkerson's uh, background is completely right, but so you really can't read anything. The lowest of 12th, highest of 4th. He currently rides in 5th. Joey Stone, P6 today. Started in 5th, dropped down to 8th. And he's back in 6th right now. Justin Mons right behind him. In the 49, he is facing challenge from Ethan Workman in 8th right behind him in the 23cleveland.com. The hub motorsports machine, Henry Kalhoff, back in ninth all by himself, six seconds back to Ethan Workman. Alex Jones, however, is giving some challenge to Kalhoff right behind him in 10th, rounding out the top 10. Kalhoff all over the back end of, or uh, Alex Jones all over the back, back end of Kalhoff as he gets really loose right there in that recolored William Byron machine. Ross Corlett, the first car outside of the top 10. In 11th right now, down in 15th at the beginning of the race. But he's hunted his way back up four spots so far for the 98. Brandon Riss Miller in 12th. He is 19 seconds behind Corlett, who is 26 seconds behind Alex Jones. Brandon Riss Miller is all alone out on this track right now. Nobody within 10 seconds of him almost. Here's Xander Prestage in 13th, 9.9 .9 seconds behind Riss Miller. Michael Deitch behind Prestige, 19 seconds back in 14th, up into 11th at the beginning of the race. Now he's in 14th, and that Kyle Larson Indy 500 Coke 600 scheme just got revealed. They added a 7 to it, called it a day, and there is the 57 of Michael Deitch in 15th, 14th. Oh, trouble. Anthony Trippi gets turned from 15th. And there goes race leader James Thurston. Here comes Cootie. See what happened to Trippy. He just got turned, it sounded like. Oh, 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 this is James Thurston. It didn't go to replay for some reason. What is going on right here? Thurston goes wide. Cootie just took the lead back. I have no idea why it didn't show us a replay, but that was more interesting because Thurston just lost the lead. Oh my god.
James Thurston just got taken out by a lap car. All right, let's see. That is the fourth time this season that James Thurston has lost the lead or lost a race to a lap car. Let's ride on board with Thurston here. See Trippy up ahead, just loses it on his own, and then Dustin Pickle finishes him off. Trippy gets going again. Here comes Thurston around, and Pickle just drives into the grass for no apparent reason, and he overcorrects at about 30 miles an hour. And then you hear Trippy right there door bang the four. I mean, the lap cars just did their best to try and wreck him. I, I have no idea why the 21 drove into the grass. That may be the lowest IQ move I've ever seen in my life. He drives into the grass to get it a Thurston's way, and he actually ends up causing him to lose the lead. Uh, conveniently, though, Dustin Pickle's teammate was the one that passed him for it. And Thurston just lost another spot. Thurston's wrecked. James Thurston is wrecked. He is way back. He must be on pit road. No, I, he's not. I think he, I think he just pitted. There, he's had to have pit. There's no way he lost that much time. Yeah, he did. James Thurston down on pit road. And we'll see if he takes the field with him. Andrew Cootie. Out in first. Here is Cootie. Thomas Johnson in second right now. And that was that was hysterical. I mean the lap cars just they just bombarded Thurston with an attack right there. That was like a that was like a navy attack right there. They 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 hit in the waves and they just popped out and shot some torpedoes at him. They got their uh, they, they launched some F fourteens at him. I mean that was that was hilarious. There's Thurston right behind Thomas Johnson. I don't know if he took tires. I don't think he did because with this car there's really no tire wear, and so if you keep temps and if you keep the temps under under check, then you shouldn't need to take new tires as we ride on board with Thurston here. Coming to halfway done with this race. He is hoping for a fun yellow for sure. He comes through turn 12. And here comes Cootie on to pit road. He takes a lab car with him. That's Cormenis, the one car on pit road. Xander Prestige briefly goes a lap down from Cootie. As Thomas Johnson comes into the final quarter, he will come down onto pit road. Here's James Thurston. Out of the final quarter, here comes Cootie. Out of his box, it's gonna be close. There's Thurston, you see him. And Thurston is gonna breeze by Cootie. Back into the race lead, just like that is the four. Whoa, here comes Cootie to the inside. Not so fast, oh, he spins. Cootie goes around. A chance to take the lead back and he loses it. There's Cormenis right there with him. So James Thurston, crisis averted with the lap cars. Cootie goes for a spin. Out of pit road. As he's on pit road. And then right here. Oh my god. Oh my god, it won't stop. I have no idea what's going on, but here comes Cootie. He sees Thurston and he just gets a little too aggressive, I think. Ah, just throttles up, cold tires. James Thurston with a seven second gap right now. As Thurston continues to run away from this field, just as he did last week, we'll see if Cootie can run him down. I think, uh, I think, just as I did on Monday, you know, Thurston's got a little more competition now, but just as SRX likes to do with their drivers in the middle of a short track race, uh, talk to James Thurston, who, uh, got lucky there with Andrew Cootie spinning, uh, Thurston, you got, you got a second, buddy? Uh, yeah. 
Uh, you had a close call with lap cars. Well, would that make it the fourth time that a lap car has tried to uh, intervene with you winning a race? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure why they didn't throw a caution for it. They seem to have been pretty lenient. They've been debating whether they're going to throw it or not, but uh, we'll see if they ever throw it. Kind of need it because I'm not good on fuel. I guess I just used too much fuel in the first run, so I got to save a ton right now. But I got a gap, so I might be able to do that. Uh, so right now, just trying to do the best I can, and we'll see how this goes. All right, good luck. Thank you. James Thurston not have enough fuel currently at the moment. And so it'll be interesting to see if he could save enough. He only lost two tenths to Cootie that lap. He comes through turn two. You see Michael Cormenis chasing him down. Cormenis is just, I mean, he's praying for a yellow because he's got one of the, if not the fastest car on the track right now. He pitted with Cootie, and I think he will have enough fuel to make it, especially because he was clearly lifting. Look at how much time Cootie was making up there. My goodness. So much faster through the S's. I think Thurston was just coasting through there. As Cootie rides up onto that curb, back to the left, making up a little bit more time each corner on Thurston. 5 8 back now. He's made up over a second just in that run. Just in that little that little section, I by that I mean. Oh, 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 he goes deep, he almost spins. And he loses all the time he gained. Cootie cannot keep it on the track. Absolutely cannot keep it on the track. And he's struggling right now. He's gonna lose all the time he just gained. And it's back to a seven second gap. Oh, oh, he misses the corner again. He goes in way too deep. What is going on? Cody cannot keep it on the track. As that gap evens out, he actually made up time there as Thurston continues to save. He let Cormenis go by. And now it's just all about saving fuel and holding off the race leader. Or uh, the second place, sorry. Andrew Cootie, no pressure from behind right now at all. Max Molina's the closest car to him, I believe, on track. Yeah, Molina's all the way back in third. 15 seconds off of the race leader, 9 seconds off of Cootie. No pressure at all for Cootie, just needs to not make mistakes like he has been doing this entire race. Keep it clean is the goal for that nine machine. And I'll run right through the fuel one more time and then possibly go to uh, go to uh, some gopher cam shots for a, uh, for a crank it up here. Pretty good cameras here courtesy of track cams. Uh, even though it's not lap, to, uh, there's, it's not 22 to go. We missed that opportunity long ago. But the track camp set up here at Coda is, uh, it's been pretty satisfying to the eye as James Thurston continues to lead. He's got a huge gap behind him to save fuel. Andrew Cootie, however, needs to be on his high horse right now as we, uh, are looking at Brandon Rissmiller. Thank you. Thank you for that, uh, timing and scoring. Uh, Andrew Cootie here. P2, five seconds off of James Thurston. He's a lot quicker right now. He's catching lab traffic. Xander Prestage. Not worried about him at all as Cootie continues to ride either in second or first as he's been all day. And run down James Thurston. Max Molina 11 seconds off of Cootie going a little wide there in turn 11. Molina's been in third the entire race so far after uh, after lap one. No struggle at all for him. He's got 15 seconds back to P4 Thomas Johnson. Who is just now coming down the back stretch getting around lap car chance Parker Jacob Wilkerson. In P5, not feeling any pressure at all. It's 10 seconds back from Wilkerson to Joey Stone. Looks like he got passed under the pit cycles. Wilkerson just hasn't come in yet. Joey Stone riding in six. He has Justin Mons all over him, just as these guys have been all race long. Bumper to bumper, just like the leaders. Ethan Workman was in that battle last time we went and looked at these two, or these three, but he's fallen off about four seconds from Mons and Stone. 
but he's got no competition out back. Henry Kaloff, the next car in line, 13 seconds back nearly. He's been either in ninth or 10th all day. And a pretty easy day for him. Alex Jones has been all over his bumper, pretty similarly to the uh, to the eight of Stone and the uh, 49 and Justin Mons. These guys, ninth to tenth, basically all race. Alex Jones started up a little higher than the 63 of Kaloff, but he's dropped back now and he's been stuck behind him ever since. And he continues to run just about a half second behind him. Ross Court lets the next car in line, 30 seconds. Behind Alex Jones going on the back stretch right now. Then it's Michael Cormenis who just got his lap back. He's 30 seconds behind Ross Corlett. And you can see how much he's pulled on the race leader right there. Coming up behind him. As Cormenis rides in 12, Xander Prestage has become the first car lap down with that move around the leader by Cormenis. Here's Prestage. Just got passed by Cootie. We saw Cootie being held up by him a little bit. Prestage has got 22 seconds back. To Michael Deitch in 14th. Michael Deitch was racing earlier. Whoa! Michael Deitch clobbers the curb in the S's. That is not what you want to do. He might have a broken back now. But we'll come back to him later in 15th. Chance Parker in the 42. All by himself. Six seconds off of Parker. Or six seconds off of Deitch. Anthony Trippy behind. Eight seconds behind Chance Parker right now. Trippy only one car to race with right now and that is Chance Parker Joseph Lewis the next car in line he's 18 seconds behind Trippy right now and Joseph Lewis yeah, has no information it's it's very interesting Joseph Lewis uh, does not want to be included I guess as he clobbers the curb just like the 57 did but this time the driver who hits that curb keeps it on the track Dustin Pickle is down on pit road he tried to comic uh, kamikaze James Thurston earlier uh, and it did work for the most part, but eventually Cootie lost the lead anyways his teammate I know it's not looking good for Dustin Pickle one other driver in the field and it's Brandon Riss Miller who is not on track Looks like he has given up. He is not having a good time He is in 19th the last car still registered for the race as we go back up to the lead, James Thurston continues the lead coming to lap 20. And we'll go crank it up here, courtesy of track cams.
James Thurston continues to lead and he continues to lose time to Andrew Cootie. Some beautiful shots there, courtesy of Track Hands. Get your own at trackhams22.com and pick up a, uh, a very nice set of cameras there. Get some great shots. Uh, make a promo video, maybe a uh, video of your new paint scheme. Anything you could ever desire. Trackhams22.com. James Thurston came out of pit road, watched Andrew Cootie spin in his mirror. And he realized that he had some time to save fuel, but now that time has ran out. He's got two seconds back to Cootie. You can see Cootie right behind him. Trying to run him down, and he's going a lot quicker than him right now. Thurston worried about making it on gas. Andrew Cootie is clearly not down to two seconds. He's made up five seconds, and he's made up probably more than that. He's made multiple mistakes, which has cost him multiple seconds. And he's clearly faster right now, but can Thurston put the power down when Cootie gets to him? Or will he have to wait longer? As they come back through the uh, stadium section, coming to nine laps to go. Thurston 1.9 1.8 off of Cootie right now. Cootie continuing to gain. Thurston through turn 20, 1.8 seconds. He held even with Cootie through that final section of track. It looks like it's finally time. For the four car to put the power down to 15 6 from Cootie. Only about six tenths off of the fastest lap of the race from James Thurston of 214 992. As Cootie loses action, now starts to lose some time. Looks like Thurston has finally turned on the Jets. He pulls two tenths on him through one and two, but Cootie's going to ring him back, uh, ring him back in through the S's. Thurston's a little bit quicker than he was earlier. Cootie's still able to make up about four tenths through the S's. Just got something figured out that, that Thurston really doesn't right there. And it's going to be one of his strong suits, and it comes down to it for these guys to race. 1.8 seconds was exactly what it was when they came back last time. And Thurston's lead has evened out, and he's very glad for that because Cootie is hunting now. Nine laps to go. Thurston has gotten on his high horse clearly, but Cootie is still and has been the faster car. 1.6 seconds now. But Thurston, no mistakes out of him so far. 1.5 seconds. Cootie is right there. That might have been a mistake. He might have braked too early. Thurston pulls out just a little bit more. And Cootie reels him back in. Now it's almost within a one, a one second gap. And this is when the battle is going to heat back up. They raced for about the first 10 laps. And they're going to race for the last 10 laps. Here comes Cootie. In the CCH Motorsport Chevrolet, point nine seconds. He's had a fantastic run. He's got back to the four after spinning out of pit road. We'll see if he can get to him and make a move. James Thurston had a comfortable lead. Thurst, uh, Cootie. It's possible sent one of his goons out to wreck the four. We saw Dustin Pickle blow through the grass and take out James Thurston, took him out from the lead, and then we saw uh, Anthony Trippi simultaneously door the race leader. Thurston has been through the ringer today, but he's still in the race lead. The question now for him is, does he have enough fuel? Because Andrew Cootie still clearly does. He is not worried about saving at all, or else he would not be this fast. Seven tenths of a second, six tenths of a second, five tenths of a second through the S's. Cootie just so much better. Thurston is doing everything he can. I mean, you can see he's basically just driving the wheels off that thing through the S's, missing that right hander. Doesn't get down those, doesn't get the right size down into that red paint. 
And Cootie makes up some more time, but the gap is extended to eight tenths. As Thurston pulled away there, Cootie using all of the available track surface. Down into turn 11, he goes in too deep, maybe. Oh, we might, he really got it wound down to turn there. Kind of surprising. Justin Mons has gone four laps down. Not sure what happened to him. He was racing with, uh, he was racing with the eight, I believe, of Joey Stone. And he is no longer on the track. And so it looks like race over for Justin Mons. Here comes Cootie way too deep into turn 12. And another mistake out of Cootie. That might be Thurston saving grace. Is how many mistakes Cootie has made. He cannot keep it on the track. Max Molina, 23 seconds back. It's just these two for the lead. And for the win if we don't get a caution. And the gap is back to 1.1 just as they held it for so long. Now Cootie starts to drop back a little bit. 1.3 seconds is the gap. And I think now more than ever would be time for a great time for a fun flag. We've got two cars racing for the win. On Monday, it wasn't even one car racing for the win. It was just, or it wasn't even two, it was just James Thurston. Now, we've got a little battle on our hands, but it's just these two, 22 seconds behind Cootie is Max Molina. Then it's a 10 second gap, a three second gap, 25 seconds back to Joey Stone, who he has been caught by Ethan Workman. And then after Workman, 21 seconds back to Cal Hoffman Jones. And then after that, 25 seconds to Ross Corlett, 16 seconds more to Cormenis. 37 seconds to Xander Prestige and 40 seconds to Michael Deitch. Chance Parker, Anthony Trippi kind of close to each other and Joseph Lewis is five or 15 seconds off. These guys are just, they're all over the track. I mean, you look in basically every corner there's a car right now. As we watch these guys go through the S's and turn it, you see a couple cars on the back stretch. No lap traffic at all, except for Michael Cormenis ahead of them, who's not going to be trouble for them. I don't think they're going to be able to catch him. Here comes Cootie, seven tenths back. Starting to make up some time. You hear Cormenis go by, the only other car that these guys can see on the track. Back down the back stretch again, seven to go. This time coming to six. Cootie closed the gap in by half a second through the S's. But he's still not there. As Thurston goes back into the stadium section, pulls away by a tenth. Cootie goes a little bit wider. And loses a little bit more time. Just doing his best to get there. Can't quite do it, still eight tenths. Cootie starting to fall off. Thurston starting to put the pressure back on. He had to save earlier, but clearly not anymore. Because he is holding that gap even with Andrew Cootie, and it's pulling away just by a little bit. Cootie gets a little back there, down to six tenths. In fact, he gets a lot back there, two tenths of a second. Down the front stretch, across the finish line, six laps to go. Thurston holding a steady gap to Cootie, going in and out, clean through turn one. Cootie's gonna make up some time here. He's closer than he's all he's been since the first run, four tenths. Here he comes, he's gonna really run him down. Look at how much quicker he is into the corners and the car just turns, goes wherever he wants. Cootie to the inside. This is for the lead. Cootie just blows by Thurston. Gives him the door. Thurston comes back. Oh, almost contact. Switch back number two. Cootie to the outside. Thurston runs him wide. Cootie almost turning him. Thurston's going to push him out wide. Cootie all over the gas. Thurston gets off to give him room. Cootie trying to clear him. Thurston super deep into turn 11. Cootie. Deep as well, they're gonna stay side by side. Thurston has the lead now, and he clears the nine. What a race this has turned into very, very quickly.
Cootie looking low into turn 12. Does Thurston give him the space? He does. Cootie to the bottom. Contact. Cootie forces him wide. Thurston's going to give him the door back. Surely here to the inside. Gets clear of him again. Cootie looking for the double cross. He's going to get there. Is he going to get the lead? He is. Thurston loses the lead. Now he sets up wide. Cootie going a little bit deeper into the corner. Oh, Thurston hits the curb. That's it. That is it for James Thurston. He's lost the lead for good. And now he needs a caution. Andrew Cootie gets around him. With the advantage in the S's and the fact that he ran Thurston off the track probably three times. He gets the lead back and for good. Can Thurston run him down six tenths? Thurston's going to be running harder than he has been all race long. He qualified on pole. He's had the fastest car in practice. He dominated on Monday, but Cootie has got something figured out, especially through those S's that Thurston cannot find the speed in with his Ford five to go this time. Into turn one, out of turn one, Thurston making up some time, going in a little deeper. But Cootie's gonna extend the lead and just watch as the gap increases as the track gets super dark. It's gonna get a little colder. It's gonna get a little bit faster, but this time Cootie goes a little he goes a little deep Thurston actually makes up some time in the S's for once this race Here he comes Six tenths is the gap Thurston drives it in super deep but he gets out of that red paint like I said before a huge advantage if you can get onto that paint it's super sticky especially in that spot and he gets to him now as Cootie gets down the hill. Six tenths is the gap still. Thurston goes in super deep. He's going to miss the corner for sure. But Cootie kind of goes a little wide. And Thurston's able to even it out. And he's going to make him time. Thurston is a huge run. That gap is closing. Three tenths is going to turn to two before they make it into the corner. Here he comes. Sounding like he forgets to shift there. He gets down into first gear. Cootie Extends the gap back to six tenths Thurston makes it back up, but these guys are running such different lines But they stay so even oh Thurston hits the same curb he hit last lap Looks like last lap he hit it, it may have given him brain damage because he forgot it was there and he hit it again. And I think Goody might be gone for good unless we can get a caution, but no one's close enough to each other on track to have anything happen. Alex Jones got by Greg Kalhoff. These guys are side by side. Through the S's, almost getting lapped. Goody's about to come through the final corners. These guys are racing for eighth right now. Uh, 96 seconds off of the race leader. Kalhoff has that spot back, but Cootie leads. Thurston making up a little bit of time going into turn one, but it's not going to be enough. He needs to get. He needs to find some more pace out of this car quickly. I don't know if it's going to happen. Cootie has mastered the set these asses. Thurston making up a little bit of time there. It was a 1-7 going into turn one. It's still a 1-7, now a 1-8 as Cootie extends the gap a little bit, which has just become a given through these through these corners every time. One five now. Thurston making up some time down into turn eleven. To the back stretch, can he catch? Cootie, one four is the gap now. Looking for a one three, can't quite do it to get the run off the corner. It's not quite there. Pickle, Riss, Miller, and Mons out of this race. There's four, five cars a lap down, all the way up to 11th. Michael Corman is the last car in the lead lap. Field is super spread out, but these two have found each other bumper to bumper all races. They come around 15 and 16 here. You see Cormanis going by. Here's turn 16. Will Thurston hit the curb again? No, this time he actually remembers it's there. 
And he closes that gap into a 1-6. He made up a little bit of time, but obviously just not enough. He doesn't have enough time to do it. It's a 1-6, trying to close it to a 1-5, and he just doesn't have any grip there. Gets out into the marbles. Gap gets extended, but he runs it right back to a 1-5. Looking for any sort of pace as Cootie comes out of turn 20. Three laps to go. Down the front stretch. Cootie pulls the gap back out to a 1-7. These two are just running equal times now, which is not going to do it for Thurston. He needs a little bit more pace than that. We'll see if he can get it here. Through the S's, Cody pulls that gap up five tenths just through one and two. And back through the S's, Cody is driving away now 2.5 seconds and I think it's over for Thurston. I don't think there's a chance he gets him back. There's too little too late and now it's not even little, it's just nothing at all. And the gap is a 2-4 now. Thurston, the favorite for sure to win this race. Andrew Cootie turns on the Jets and he's pulling away 2-5. Going down into turn 11. Cootie goes wide. Thurston makes up almost half a second. But Cootie gets the drive off the corner. Salvages it. Reels it back in a little bit, but it's only about three tenths, two tenths. Thurston way too deep into turn 12. He is pushing it now. Gap down to a 2 2. It seems every time. They stay even, but Thurston's lost so much in the S's last time. Cootie just figured it out. This choke job needs to be said. Yeah, honestly, I mean, Thurston was so fast, so fast in practice. Um, but I'm sure we talked to him in an interview. He'll say it was something with the setup. And I mean, I wouldn't doubt it because if you kind of like just compare a lap between the two with Cootie and Thurston in the S's, it just didn't even seem fair the way Cootie's car just kind of turned wherever he wanted like he had more downforce or something. They strapped an extra rear wing on the back of that car. They gave him some more, uh, they gave him some more airflow down on the bottom, a uh, little F1. You know, they, they saw the uh, CCH Motorsports uh, Chase Elliott crew, they saw the uh, underbody of the Red Bull and they just, when the uh, Max Verstappen car got lifted up in the air, the Perez car got lifted up in the air, they saw that. They took a picture of it and they put it underneath Cootie's car. Because Cootie is just flying away through the S's there. They stayed even. Thurston actually made up time that time as Cootie had to get around a lap car. He made up a lot of time. That's the, uh, that's the 28. Joseph Lewis goes two laps down with that move right there. Anthony Trippi. The next car on the list. And you see Trippy up ahead. In that pack, oh, that's a huge pack. I did not know that this pack even existed. That's going to be huge. Cootie is going to need to get through these guys, and he's going to need to do it quickly. Ross Corlett is right there, Major Cootie's teammate. But Cormenis is there, hopefully, to help his friend out in James Thurston. We'll see what happens as they catch this lap, this lap car group. I'm sure they will. Oh, oh, well, they're wrecking. Chance Parker goes for a spin. Trippy lets the uh, 25 go by. Here comes Corlett. Trippy goes wide. And here comes the race leaders. Thurston makes up time. It's a 1 5 now. How will Cootie navigate the lap traffic? Trippy goes out wide. Cootie can't exit the core quite how he wants to. See if Trippy gives it to him. Oh, Trippy's going to fight him. Trippy's going to fight him on the bottom. Trippy takes away the apex. It's a 1 2 now. Thurston is running them down. Will Trippy do the same thing to Thurston? Coming to the white flag. Trippy is two laps down. I have no idea why he's racing with the leaders. But it looks like Thurston's just going to get right around him here. That is as easy as it could have been. The gap is under a second. 
Cormenis and Corlett side by side. White flag in the air one more time for the Cup Series here. 30 laps flag to flag at Coda. Into turn one, look at the 25 and the 91. They're in a line and Thurston loses a bunch of time. Corlett's gonna back up. Oh, that could get sketchy. Almost sounded like they were wrecking as the 25 and the 91 go at it. Thurston loses a bunch of time and with it, his chance at the win, I think, unless Cootie makes a mistake. I don't know if Thurston can get him back. One, one, whoa, Thurston made up time on the S's. Now the turns of table, has he actually made up time on the S's on Cootie? who's been the master of the S's now. Can Thurston get to the red? He does, he gets more grip there. Eight tenths of a second. It's almost like Thurston was saving more fuel as he dropped back, because now he's within seven tenths. One more lap car to go. I believe that's Cowhoff. No, that's that's Deitch. And look at how much time Thurston makes up on Cootie. Seven tenths, eight tenths. If they stay even at eight, it's gonna be eight tenths of a second going into turn 12. Probably the final passing section for Thurston. Can he do it? Can he can he dive bomb him? Down into turn 12. Oh, he drives it in. He almost wrecked him. He makes up time five tenths of a second here. Thurston super late on the brakes again. He's trying to get to Cootie's bumper. The lap cars. Take away his shot at a win. He does not want to let that happen. This is the final chance right here. Goes to the bottom. Cootie opens up the inside. Seven tenths into turn 17 for Cootie. Andrew Cootie figured out the S's. He got around James Thurston. He holds him off. Here comes Thurston. He's going to have one final breaking zone to do it. Coming to the checkered flag. Will Thurston dive it in? No, he won't. Andrew Cootie will hold off the Pacissum 4, and he will win at Coda. Thurston stops immediately. He is not happy. Oh my goodness, he gets pounded in the rear end by a lap car. Violent impact there. Cootie and Thurston. One, two. Max Molina, 32 seconds back. He is almost to the finish line. Five seconds back to Thomas Johnson, who will finish fourth. Wilkerson will finish fifth. The closest battle on the track is between Workman and Joey Stone. Basically the same gap between them as it was between the race leaders. On board with Ethan Workman. He was sixth earlier on, got past. He drives in too deep there. And that battle's gonna be set in stone. Henry Kalhoff and Alex Jones were racing all day. But Kalhoff gets the better of the two. He will pull away. Cormenis and Corlett are done. Prestige still on the lap. Michael Deitch out on track as well. Joseph Lewis and Chance Parker got passed by the leaders. They should be done. But it looks like they're still racing. Definitely off the pace here. These guys' races are over. The final cars to finish will be Stone, Workman, Kalhoff and Jones as Stone and Workman come to the line six and seven. Jacob Wilkerson takes fifth. Henry Kalhoff in seventh, 40 seconds behind Workman. And that will do it as Kalhoff comes around 17 and 18. He'll come to the line. And he'll take eighth. Alex Jones will take ninth. And that will set the field. Finishing order. Andrew Cootie did some donuts and parked it. We'll go back and look at your uh, your winner's burnouts here as we talk to him. If he gets into the voice chat. Andrew Cootie with a fantastic day. He had something figured out for, for James Thurston there at the end. Which is something you don't quite see a lot. So we'll see if we can talk to, to Cootie, but in the meantime, we'll talk to James Thurston. Uh, was probably the favorite to win, but Andrew Cootie got the best of you, and uh, so did the Laptars. Uh, second place, still not a bad result. How do you feel? Um, I feel like uh, I needed two more laps of fuel. Just had to save? 
Yeah, uh, I did all of that, uh, saving two whole laps of fuel, and uh, I think I would have been there if not for uh, Cootie's uh, greatest teammate in the world, Ross Corlett, sending it in on there and uh, getting me sideways on the last lap. And, uh, I mean, I, I was thinking about getting to Cootie and just spinning him out because I couldn't make it to the line, but uh, I, I didn't Buffs, take it that ran, far. You ran out of fuel. That's why you stopped. Yeah, I was out of fuel coming across the line. Oh, huh, well... You uh, you stretch it to the end there. Uh, Cootie was uh, remarkably quick in the S's. Uh, do you have any idea why that was? Um, I don't know. The only thing I can think of is that he just sat down for a couple hours and just practiced. But um, yeah, I wasn't I wasn't that great through there. Or at the end of the race, that's where I was actually gaining on him though. So whatever he was doing he started uh going wrong, and I was kind of catching him. But um. Just, uh, yeah, it's it all comes down to that first run. I was way too aggressive with it, and I didn't realize I was burning as much fuel as I was because they were able to go an entire lap more than I could on fuel. And if I did the same thing they did, I probably would have finished like three seconds ahead of him or more. Well, uh, anything else I can say? Just thanks to Power Smash Infinity Speed Motorsports, and uh, just, uh, yeah, just they got to get these cautions down. These admins, they don't know when to throw them and when not to throw them. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. James Thurston uh, had to save fuel, so instead of stopping, which I thought he was doing, he was actually uh, out of fuel. So we'll talk to uh, we'll talk to Max Molina here. Third on the day. Uh, Max, uh, same result as you had in the truck series. Uh, how was that race for you? Uh, pretty boring, to be honest. Uh, most of the race, I was just in my own world. No one could, I guess, catch up to me, and I couldn't catch up to anyone in front of me. So it was just a nice little Sunday drive. Um, Coda, you know, uh, first, I think a couple of laps, I thought, you know, I was going to be able to hang with Thurston and Cootie there for a little bit, but then they started pulling away. So I was like, ah, I'll just, I'll just fall back and just chill. And, you know, after I think like around lap 10, I saw I had like about 15 second gap to the guy behind me. I was like, you know what, this is probably where I'm going to finish. So it's, I mean, it's really no point pushing it. Well, uh, next week you go to uh, Rockingham for the All-Star race. How do you feel about your chances there? Um, I feel good considering I'm not going to race it because it's not points paying race. So I'm going to enjoy another week off. Uh, okay. Well, then I'll, uh, I'll ask you about Milwaukee. Milwaukee's <laughs> the next points paying race. Okay. Milwaukee, um, did pretty okay there last season. Didn't like how the car drove, but you know, I think I came away with a, maybe a top five finish, if not top 10. So I kind of looking forward to that with mixed emotions. Um, you know, just because of how the car handles and just the racetrack in general. But uh, I'm looking forward to it nonetheless. Um, but yeah, I was kind of wishing I was I pitted a lap later in this race because I think that entire last thing I was pretty much having to save um, save as much fuel as I could. And I wound up saving about like 0.2 across the line when the checkers fell. So, you know, I had enough cushion to, to fall back on, thankfully, in that second stint. But when I saw like the the gap shrinking to the 48 behind, I was like, okay, well, should I save more and more until he gets, like, two seconds behind me, or should I just, you know, uh, just keep running a consistent pace to where I could save enough fuel and run hard at the same time, so glad I could came, come across P3 as I did yesterday. I uh, thought it was going to be Thurston and, and Cootie and a me today, like it was yesterday, but um, I guess Thurston didn't save enough fuel uh, like me um, that last stint, but I was kind of hoping he was, uh, he and Cootie were going to pit the same time. That way they could, like, you know, we all, us three would be at the same exact strat. But I figured, like, once uh, Thurston pit, I, I, would sh I should pit. So, um, yeah, just <laughs> lucky to come away with the top three at the end of the day. All right. Well, anything else I could say? Uh, just thanks to everyone, PBR, um, Zach Todrif, and. Everyone who owns that team and contributes to it, um, and thank you for streaming and, or at least broadcasting. I know, um, I think David's out of town or whatever, but thanks to David for letting you stream it on his channel and everything. Um, and thanks to all the viewers that came out to the race. I know it might not have been the most interesting race, but I, I, I saw that last lap battle was actually pretty, pretty intense considering Thurston's fuel situation. But yeah, just glad, glad to be here, and I'll be back for Milwaukee. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Yes, sir. So Max Molina walks away with third, and we'll talk to uh, Andrew Cootie, who uh, expected to uh, come second to James Thurston, but uh, 
the tables were turned. Uh, what were you doing differently than Thurston there, either than actually just having fuel in your car? Ah, uh, well, I mean, I was really good in like I like Thurston was talking about. I was really good in the S's. Um, and to his point, no, I did not sit here for like three hours. The first stops I put on this track in about six months was lap one of practice. So of today. So I mean, because I, I work all day, so I just I didn't have time, you know. Um, but no, nah, I I'm gonna be honest. I knew that I was fast after the first couple laps when I was when I was keeping pace with Thurston. I don't know if it was that I was fast or that he was slow or we were just meeting in the middle or I don't know, but it was uh definitely interesting to say the least. Um we had a really good battle a few times throughout the race and and uh then uh we had our stuff with Dustin right before we pitted. I uh, Dustin was telling me he basically was just trying to get out of the way and when he had jumped the curb he didn't time it right. So that was all that that was. But I uh I noticed a lot that guys were cutting the course and getting slowdowns, which or getting slowdown penalties and then getting cl them cleared. Um, which in my opinion is not, uh, allowed because in the rules, it is technically not allowed, but, um, for some reason, Joaquin was, uh, he was clearing them and I don't know why. Um, but the entire race, I kept it clean. I, the one trouble spot was 19. I was having so many problems with 19 in practice, just overshooting it. And I knew where the line was of where you can place the car on the left side or the on the left side of the car where you pass over and it it uh gives you that slowdown so i was trying to just stay as as good as i could on that right side without getting a slowdown and uh, i did honestly i i didn't have any slowdowns no no nothing like that so i was happy about that to be honest i mean i'm pretty sure let's see here um 127 incident points today <laughs> that's coda for you i mean uh who was first first was joseph lewis he was the first guy i was second on uh on uh on the on the incident points but yeah i just i mean i at walkins gun it'll be fixed but you know you can't you can't do anything about it when it's already going on in the race you know, but I thought the race was good from the top five. You know, there was a lot of I saw uh, Max and Thomas where they were battling it out right at the beginning. They kind of spread out and Wilkerson was in his own realm. So was Ross. Ross was in his own realm. Like there was no one around him for the entire race. But uh, yeah, I had fun. That was uh, it was a lot of fun today. And uh, we'll go on to what is it? The all star race next week mm -hmm. for oh, geez. I don't. I, I will say I don't like Rockingham, but I will raise it. But going to Milwaukee, on the other hand, I am definitely uh, going to be fast there. I ran really fast there last year, and then Conklin existed. I don't even know where in the world he is. Uh, do you have you talked to him? <laughs> uh, yeah. I just I don't think he races here anymore. I don't think he races. Period. I haven't seen him in any of anything. Yeah, he does. He does officials. I, I've I've no. I've seen him before. Oh, I haven't seen him. But but yeah, we'll go on to Rockingham. I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't even know if I want to run it because it's the All Star race. But we got a bunch of truck guys. There was a list posted for truck guys running um running in the All Star race. So that'll be interesting to say the least. I know Throttle's in there, so we're going to throttle on, throttle on if I ain't racing. <laughs> <laughs> all right well anything else to say uh just thank you to cch and to bryson ross and and to lexi my fiance and yeah thank you to cch most importantly all the guys over there and uh we're gonna go on to rockingham hopefully another win but probably not i'm not good at rockingham all right well uh congratulations for the win thanks buddy so that wraps everything up for today. 30 laps. No cautions. 
Uh, pretty good, pretty good racing for the lead, uh, except for, you know, Cootie talking about uh, Ross Corlett and some other drivers, Max Molina, just all by themselves all day. But, nevertheless, we did have a race until the end for the win. And uh, Andrew Cootie comes out on the top spot, 2.8 seconds ahead of Thursday, who ran out of fuel in the last corner. Max Molina was 36 seconds off of Cootie. In third, Thomas Johnson comes home fourth, Jacob Wilkerson in fifth, Joey Stone in sixth, Ethan Workman in seventh, Henry Kalhoff in eighth, Alex Jones in ninth, and Michael Cormenis all the way from the back of the field to tenth. In eleventh, Ross Corlett, then Xander Prestage in twelfth, Michael Deitch and Anthony Trippi, thirteenth to fourteenth, Joseph Lewis in fifteenth, Chance Parker in 16th, Justin Mons in 17th, Dustin Pickle in 18th, Brandon Riss Miller in 19th, and Joaquin Stewart did not start. And uh, Mons, Pickle, and Riss Miller did not finish the race. So that just about wraps it up. Again, if you want all the uh, all the latest news and uh, all other things related to FTN, join the Discord. And other than that, uh, David will be back on Friday, I believe, for the uh, OSRL short track season uh, series, and then on Saturday and Sunday and whatnot. David's regular schedule will resume. I'll be back on Monday for the Integrity Ignite series, I believe. And so David will take the truck series or uh, someone else if David's still not here. And other than that, uh, all-Star Race is next week for the uh, for the World Cup Series, so we'll take the Truck Series drivers up to the All-Star Race, and that'll be a show. So we hope you all come back. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, lots of streams every week. Uh, very entertaining racing. You know, normally there's there's more entertainment than than this race. Uh, maybe some more cautions, maybe some more racing, but uh, we'll see when we get back to the left turns only. So uh, again, I'll be back on Monday, and other than that. Hope you have a very good night. Thank you for watching.